Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I attempt to dye my hair from this color, this raggediness, to a potential, hopefully, a magenta type of color. I've done this before on my channel and I kind of succeeded, so this was in 20, like December of rude um this was of december of 2017 18 19 20 so it's been four years dude it's been four years since i've had this color i went to sally's and i picked up everything i think i needed i hate that i'm like bent but i got six boxes of the magenta color dude whatever it doesn't even matter i'm not lying to y'all um, I got six boxes of the magenta and these are the L'Oreal Technique high color highlights for dark hair only so Okay, okay, so this is the L'Oreal high color highlights and this is in the color Magenta and you can see that it says right there that this is for dark hair only y'all dark hair only so I know in the video that I made four years ago, I put that it is for like, that it has no bleach in it, but I do want to put a little disclaimer in this video since I am a little more educated, like obviously it has bleach in it y'all. It has bleach, but it's not like I'm doing the whole process of like bleaching my hair first and then putting the color. Like this does all the work for me, I'm just applying it like regular hair dye. Um, so yeah, it does have a little bit of bleach in there, you guys, but it's not like you're actually doing the process, so just wanted to put that out there, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna do it, I'm scared, let me show you guys my hair, this is my hair, it's pretty uneven, like my hair isn't a solid black, um, there's different, like, colors in there you can see, like there's light brown, there's dark brown, so i'm not expecting this to come out perfect and like all one shade like i know my my hair color is in um all one shade so it's not going to be perfect it's probably going to have like lighter shades of magenta darker shades of magenta but like i really don't care but if you care then i would suggest you not do this yourself because you are doing this at home so i mean you can't have it all like it's not going to be perfect Either you pay a shitload of money to go get it done or you do it for a fraction of the cost and you pay the price. That's just how I think about it. And I would rather pay the price because I know I get tired of um I get tired of hair colors pretty quick. I mean not hair colors, like I'm pretty dark for the most part, but when I did change it up to magenta, I know I got tired of it pretty fast. I wouldn't want to pay that much money and then dye it back right away, so shit fucking sucks all right dude perfect all right so i'm gonna be using a 30 developer i was gonna grab a 40 but i dude my hair's already damaged like this shit can stand up by itself so i'm not using a 40 i'm gonna go the healthiest way and that's a 30 standard i got some hair masks because my hair is super damaged so i just told the lady like hey do you know if anything that i can use to kind of like revive my hair because it's so damaged and she was like yeah to try these out and since i have long hair i just picked up two so this is going to be my first time trying them out i will let you guys know how i like them don't mind my crusty nails i'm going to be getting them done soon so each box of hair dye was eight dollars and 19 cents the hair mask was 3.29 the developer was $5.79. The bowl was $3.59 and what the fuck? And the comb was $1.99. So taxes were 9.5%, which was $6, and the total was $73.46. But I didn't buy gloves, so um buy gloves. Anyways, I'm gonna get started on the process. Um I am gonna take this shirt off i'm not wearing a bra can you tell 
Um, I'm gonna take this shirt off because I actually like it, and I'm gonna wear. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my boyfriend's old Amazon shirt. I'm gonna look like a fucking creep in this video, but whatever. You know, we're using shirts that we don't care about. So I'm gonna do a little before and after. This is fucking disgusting. <laughs> Can't believe I'm wearing this. It is what it is. All right, this is a little before. Oh, right here. I'm like trying to make this shit cute. Okay, so this is the hair. You can see like the different shades of brown. And then, yeah. So I did part half my hair. I don't do anything perfect. So don't come looking for perfect on my channel because it's not here and you're not going to find it. Um, so I found this box of hair dye that I had laying around from the last time I box dyed my hair. Um, and I know that there's going to be gloves in here. So I'm thankful for that. So what I'm going to do is just mix everything together. Um, I want to get a little... Okay. So I'm just going to mix everything together. Some people really weren't understanding this part on my other video every tube is 1.2 so what i did i don't know what you're supposed to do but what i did is match every tube two ounces so two four six so this purple one goes up to six ounces at the top so what i'm going to do is fill it to six ounces and then fill it in with three tubes and then mix it together and then go from there so just think of it like this every tube is two ounces of developer one tube two ounces developer now i don't know if that's the right way i'm not a professional i've never i don't know what the fuck i'm doing i'm just somebody doing it and like sharing my experience so yeah that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put let me see i don't know if y'all can see this pretty sure y'all can't but just listen to me okay i'm putting Six. There, that's it. Six ounces. And six ounces of developer is literally like half this bottle. Almost, not really. Okay, so six ounces of developer looks like this. You can't really see it, but it's there. And then I'm going to put one tube. One tube in it. And you open it with the cap. In case you've never dyed your hair. Um, there's like a little end at the on the end of the cap you Twist it and then it comes out. So I'm on my second tube now So now it kind of looks like this. I can't really show you guys because it will literally The bowl will literally tip over but I'm just gonna Mix it. I think I'm gonna put my gloves on now Baby, baby. So what I'm doing is just putting it flat on my hand and just kind of brushing through um, the strands of the hair, making sure that I get everything. Um, so yeah, this is what I'm going to be doing the whole time. And then when my boyfriend gets home, I'm already making a mess. I'm going to ask him to like get the back of my hair, see how good of a job he does. Cause dude, I always be missing the back of my hair. Ugh, that shit is annoying. So, I took a glove off and I'm gonna add another hair dye. I did the three, but I'm just gonna do one more to like pour it on top. Just in case. I miss anything. I don't know. I just want to drench my whole head in the hair dye. It's been 30 minutes and I'm about to wash my hair out. I'm nervous and I hope it comes out good. Let's hope.
And the next time you guys see me, I'm probably not gonna have eyelashes on. I'm gonna look crazy. Oh my gosh, I look crusty. <gasps> look at my under eye bags. Dude, this is what having two kids does to you. I'm only 22 years old and I have eye bags like this. But yes, I'm wearing a different Amazon shirt. My hair is still drying, so I don't want it to like transfer onto anything. So I just put a new Amazon shirt on. And yeah, I'm going to let it dry. And I'm just going to keep you guys posted on how it looks tomorrow in the morning in the sunlight. I do still have two boxes of hair dye left. And I did save one hair mask. So I'm probably going to re-dye it tomorrow depending on how it looks in the sun if i want a little bit more oomph then i'm gonna dye my hair again with the two leftover boxes but if not then i'll just save them for like the roots or something but i have a feeling i'm gonna need to re-dye my hair again just to get the results that i want because that's what i had to do the first time around but we'll see i'll keep you guys posted okay you guys so i'm editing the video right now and i'm just realizing that i haven't added um, any clips in to tell you guys that I did add um, two more boxes of hair dye to my hair so yeah in total I used six boxes I used the all of the boxes that I had bought from Sally's um, the first time I believe I yeah I used four yeah I think I used four um, three to dye the hair and then I added one more just to like drench my whole head and then the second time around, um, I did end up using the two extra box dyes um, just to concentrate more on the bottom half of my hair because the top is a little bit more brighter. Um, so yeah, the results um, I'm going to be showing you guys in the next few videos are going to be from a total of six box dyes. I hope you guys understand. I just want to make sure that you guys really um, understand what I did in this video because I know... In the video that I did um, almost four years ago, I know a lot of people still have questions till this day. Like, I still see people commenting and um, asking questions about it. So, yeah, just know that in, in total, I used six box dyes. Did that even make sense? Yeah, and I have really long hair. So, yeah. I'm trying to catch whatever. I'm trying to catch whatever sun I can get just to show you guys because the sun is kind of going away right now. Okay, you guys, so this is how it looks in the sun. Um, I love how it came out. Okay, you guys, so this is how it looks in the sun. Um, I'm just going to finish the video off here. There's no need to prolong it. Um, yeah, the results are pretty cute. Um, I highly recommend you guys trying this out if you want to get like a magenta color without paying the price, um, doing it at home, and without bleaching your hair completely before putting the color in. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video.